The boardroom where ideas come through. The boardroom power your idea. Hey guys, can you imagine a life without music? I believe it's almost impossible. Whether you are cruising in the car headed to the beach, or listening to music at the restaurant, or you are singing Christmas carol along with your kids. Whatever, wherever, whenever, music produces a kind of pleasure that human nature cannot do without. But producing music takes a huge effort and time, and so many of these musicians have been working so hard without any break. Some people will call it blow, without blowing. Today, I'll be taking you on a business angle to music. I'll be telling you five ways to promote your music in this digital age. And I will close it off with a story of how Lady Gaga gets discovered and became famous. I'm motivated for this topic because many promotional practices in the music industry that were useful in the past are no longer effective. Welcome to the boardroom. I'm Moses Nyanacho. Please, guys, if you like this video, kindly subscribe and share. Hit the like button and tell us what you think about this video in the comment section. Now, being a musician or if you like an artist, it's not glamorous and polished all the time. There are challenges behind the curtain, especially the upcoming artists who are hoping to blow one day but are still waiting endlessly. If you are that person I am talking to, I will say, worry no more. Your blow, your heat, your break is around the corner. So follow me to the end of this video and I will show you how. But I must begin with a question. Do you have an electronic press kit? You know what I mean? The coding to EPK. I ask this question because whether you are trying to book shows or gather media attention or you want to promote your new music, you need EBK. EBK gathers important details about you, I mean, such as biography, photo, and samples of your music. They are in all one place. Besides, show promoters, music writers, radio DJs, and other people who are important to your promo efforts. Don't want to waste time searching all around for your information. They only want a concise info about you. If you have gotten your EPK, then there are other things you have to do. Number one, get playlisted. This is a list of musical selection for broadcast or performance. It is a digital file designating a set of audio or video recordings to be played one after the other. You need to be on the playlist because the total number of subscribers on Spotify and Apple Music is way above 160 million and more than 8,000 artists have had more than half of their listening through a single playlist. So how can you leverage playlists to promote your own music? First off, get a distributor. Distributors are helpful if you are a streaming newbie. They have established relationships with major streaming services and they are experienced in the most efficient method. After getting a distributor, you create an account for artists on Spotify and then explore the platform. This will lead me to the next thing you have to do. Number two, build a website and email list. No doubt, developing and engaging social media presence is crucial. I must say that. But notwithstanding, you also need a dedicated website. A website is a place for your audience members from all social media platforms. They gather to know what's up with you. It could be a place where you announce your new release, 
It could be a place to sell merchandise and host your upcoming events. Number three, play live as much as you can. The real test of a musician is live performance. It's one thing to spend a long time learning how to play well in the studio. But to do it in the front of people is what keeps them coming back to you. So just play live. If you are good at what you are doing, people will recognize you. And at the end of each show, post it on social media. Number four, surround yourself with a strong team. You might prefer the long wolf approach to promoting your music. But there can be huge benefits to surrounding yourself with a great team of like-minded people. If you have a team of well-connected individuals who are passionate about your music, all working in your interest, you stand a chance of success sooner than later. And then finally, Number five, make great music. It's time to think differently about your craft. The best way to think differently about your music is to see it from the outside, looking in. You must understand basic music theory. Collaborate with bigger artists when the opportunity comes. You have to also embrace critiques and take corrections. Now let's talk about how Lady Gaga gets discovered. In 2007, at the age of 20, Lady Gaga started working as a songwriter. She started writing for other artists on different record labels. She later created a police show called Lady Gaga and the Starlight Revel. While performing on the stage, R&B star Akon discovered her. Akon was impressed by her performance and so he signed her to his record label under the Casco umbrella, Con Life. Her first single titled Just Dance became popular in the clubs throughout the United States and Europe and eventually landed at the number one on the Billboard Pop Song chart and stayed in the chart for 13 weeks. Her second album, titled The Fame Monster, was another hit. Obviously, Lady Gaga is more than one hit and a bag of stage tricks. She is a bunch of talent. When she arrived at the 2011 Grammy Award ceremony, Lady Gaga went on to claim honor for Best Pop Vocal Album, Best Female Pop Vocal Performance, and Best Short Form Video. All of her successes to hard work and creativity. If she can make it, you too can make it. Always be your own artist and be confident in what you are doing. You will get there. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button and share. I'm Moses Sienajo. Bye for now. The boardroom, where ideas come through. The boardroom, power your ideas.